Okay, so here is an alloy rim and tire that I've modeled in Onshape. Uh, we're going to have a go at drawing this here. I'm going to make a few different uh, modifications to this here, but that kind of gives us an idea of what it looks like. It looks, uh, if I say so myself, looks pretty good. And it'll, there's quite a bit of geometry and everything in this here, so I'm going to break it down into three different parts. I'm going to draw just the internal rim of the tire first, then this spoke, the spokes I'll draw then, and then I'll do the tire part. So without further ado, I've already done a, a couple of these up here, so hopefully it'll make speed this process up a wee bit. So you need to go to create, you need to create a document. Uh, I'm going to call this um, alloy wheel and tire. So I'll go with that. <coughs> A few different things now. There's obviously plenty of ways of drawing this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the right plane here, a profile. But before I start that there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this top plane. I'm going to create uh, an axis. So I need to go into sketch. I want to sketch on the top plane. I'll hit M for normal two. I'm going to draw a line here. Just uh, in line with their... Um, in line with our, our origin. I don't really know what length I've made that there. I suppose I could put a, a length on that. Go to my dimension tool here. Take a dimension, I don't know, it's probably 200 or something like that. <coughs> um, I'll hit escape here to get out of the dimensions. I'll go in for normal two again. Take it back into screen view. And I suppose I want that centered. Uh, there is a way of doing this here. I normally mess this up here, but I'll pick the line and then I'll hit midpoint. I'm not 100% sure if that's brought it to the midpoint, but I suppose you can always check that there to see that if it is from the center here, that is 100. So it, it has actually brought it to the midpoint. So you select the line first and then hit midpoint and that should bring that to the midpoint of the line. And plus as well too on that there, what I want is I want, don't want that line, uh, a solid line. I wanted a construction line because that's going to be my axis there so I'm going to revolve the profile around the axis and that'll make more sense when you see the the next part that's going to happen here so I'll just uh, name, name that there as the axis I'm okay with that so I've got an axis drawn there now I wanted to sketch on the right plane so I go to sketch again I'm going to pick the right plane I'll hit normal 2 now in this here, uh, I know that I want to come a distance of um, 175 away from the center here. So I'm going to draw just on one side of this line here. I can, I could actually draw in a construction line here and just put it in vertical. I had escape here. Put in a dimension on that there. That dimension that I want to get away from that there is 175. Even though I don't need to put it in at that there, I'll put it in something like 200 because I'm going to change it anyway. And F will bring it into focus again. And escape to get out of that wee command there of the dimension. Click on your line, convert it to a construction line, and there we have a vertical line now. And I'm going to draw on one side of this here. It doesn't really matter which side I draw on here. But just to start off with, I'll pick coincident there, horizontal, and I'm going to draw that line. I'm going to make that a distance of 45. Oh, 45. And I'll take the distance away from my axis. This is a protector now, 175. So now you can see what I've done there. I suppose if I take it off, I've got my axis down here. I'm come up off that there line and I'm drawn line out 45. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get a general shape here now for the next wee bit. <clears throat> I'm not well worried about dimensions just just yet. So from that line there I'm going to come out at an angle. I'm going to take a horizontal line, come out at an angle and that's as far as I'm going to go for the moment. Uh, go to my dimension tool. I want an angle here Pretty sure it's 105 degrees. I don't actually have it in front of me here now. Hopefully I'm right. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, that distance end of that line, we want to put in a distance of 
54. And yeah, sorry, I, I, it's not 105, it's 115. 115. Uh, a distance on this here of 18. That's 180. I'll not do. 18. And then a distance on this here of 18 as well. And again, you need a dim the angle has to be the same. Well, I could actually put it as an opportunity to use a, a relation here. So I could use the parallel. I pick this and this, and now it's pulled it into parallel. So I've got one part of the profile here. Now what I want to do is I want to uh, generate a, a thickness. So I have a line that I need to see. I'll take it from here across. I'm going to try and roughly match, roughly match what the thing is here without putting in all the dimensions. So I just kind of, that's a horizontal line. You can see from the relation, that's a horizontal line there. So the first dimension I want to put in here is 28. And you see it's extended up past that. Uh, I suppose I could, could have changed that there. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to make a big pile of difference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, let's see, escape out of that dimension, pick the two of these here, and I want to make them parallel. Uh, and then this is horizontal, and then I want to pick this line here and this line here, and I want to make them parallel as well too in the relations. So even if I drag them about now, you can see that they stay in parallel and my dimensions are still on that there. Now, what I want is I want a thickness for the rim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dimension here between these two lines, and I think maybe we'll go five. On it five millimeters. It's not a critical measurement. Go five there. And then from here to here we'll make five as well. Now I'm going to draw a line and it doesn't matter where that is, I see we escape that. I, I can still drag that up or down or whatever. But what I'm going to do is get out of my uh, dimension draw a line now from there to there. I know, I know it's kind of extremely out there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this line and this line. I'm going to come up to my relations here and I'm going to make that perpendicular. I'm pretty happy with that there. That shape. I might just change that dimension maybe just to, so as it goes up past it just until we see it. So them dimensions there are important. We've just started by drawing that shape, put in our few dimensions for it in our angles, and then we use the relations then between each of these here to get our fives on that. So now what I'm going to do is, I'll take this back out a wee bit. I want to use the mirror. It's just going to ask me, select a mirror line. I'll pick that line I have here in the middle, and then it asks me what entities do I want to select. I'm going to just click and drag over those entities there. And it's just brought them all over. You could, if we go back, uh, if we go to the mirror again, you could just pick that and then just pick individual lines and build it up that way either. It's just quicker to select the whole lot in one go. So whichever way you want to do that. Now I've got a profile for my tire, the, the rim of the tire, and I've got an axis down here. I'm just dragging it around a wee bit here. I suppose you could go up to this here and make it isometric or something like that. And you see our axis is down here. So the sketch there is, I'll just rename that there and I'll call it the rim. And now what we want to do is we want to do a revolve. So our revolve is here. So we click on the revolve. You see what it's asking me. We're making new. It's asking for the revolve axis down here and the faces. So if I click the revolve axis first, what I'll do is I'll pick that. Then it's asking me for the faces of the regions, so I'll pick that. And that's after spinning that right the whole way around. Now, one wee thing to see if we go, say we pick the right plane and we go normal to the right plane. And you can see my profile is there. It's very unlikely that you would have square edges on these here. So what I might do here is just pick a wee fillet to put on the edge of the rims. And I should be able to do this all in one go. 
So uh, where's my fillet? Pick the fillet. And we don't really need a big fillet now. A one millimeter fillet might be enough for the edges. Um, you can drag them and move them around to whatever way suits you best. And I'll OK that. We better go back to normal too. And now you see what has happened here. Oh, normal too. I've got a wee fillet that's going in here. I don't like that there now. Why, why it has done it like that? I might just undo that fillet that's on the inside there because there's a wee step showing there. Uh, I just not not dying about that there. So we'll go back to the fillet. We'll go edit and I get you see it's yellow. I get rid of that and then that one there. I get rid of that. I'm happy enough with the outside fillet. Not really sure why it has taken that edge so sharp there. Maybe if I put in a different fillet, just put in a much smaller radius, maybe that radius is just too much. So I'll put in the fillet. Go again. Hopefully this isn't something that won't work. Uh, it's taking a step down. Don't like that at all. I'd rather leave the sharp edge than, than take that. Going to have to work something else out on that there. And I can do that. I see now that's going to set me back a wee bit here. But what I can do is I could go into, say, the Revolve. I say we'll go, we'll edit the Revolve. So we go to edit the Revolve. Um, I'm looking for, sorry, it's, it's a sketch that I want to edit. So it's the rim. If I go uh, edit here, what I could try and do is now I could do my fillet on this corner here. Yeah, so I take there to there. And now where's my size? It's on that. It's not giving me the size for the fillet. I need to get a, I need to get to change the size on that. That's not just working right for me either. Unbelievable. Shouldn't really have happened here now, but anyway. Uh, might as well try and work through it now while we've got the problem. Yeah, it's radius 5, look. So if I put in 1, yeah, that's more like it. I suppose for that point, I could have done the fillet on the other side there, and that should, hopefully, the mirror should have worked. No, it didn't. So I have to do that on the inside as well, too. So I'll go, yeah, and I'll OK that. So now let's see how that works. That's better. Strange that the fillet didn't work when I, I put it on the outside, but sometimes you can get weed glitches like that there. So now what we have is we have the rim designed or drawn there. So you have the rotate and you've used relations and all that sort of thing. The next video we'll do, I'll do the insert on it.